Well, the Indian equity markets continue to move higher, but uh, there is fatigue evident. And that is evident in the market breadth, which today favored the declines. On the Nifty 50, however, you had more gainers than losers. And we breached the 19,400 mark in trade today. We gave up a little bit of ground to end at just about 19,391, up about a third of a percent or thereabouts. Now, if you talk about the primary movers on the benchmark index, then you have to point out three names in particular. And that's Bajaj Finserv, Bajaj Finance, as well as Hero Motor Corp. All of them uh, co contributing a lion's share of the gains in trade today. Reliance was a bit of a downer after its smart move yesterday. It uh, lost ground today and proved to be a bit of a drag. Uh, the Nifty Bank continued to gain ground, but muted gains. Those gains were driven once again by the PSU banking pack, which gained over a percent in trade today. Financial services were in focus, uh, and I mentioned already uh, Bajaj FinServ as well as Bajaj Finance, but uh, IDFC gained ground. On the other hand, IDFC First Bank lost ground on account of the swap ratio, which is seen to be favoring IDFC Limited. Now, IT stocks were also a bright spot in trade. You saw a little bit of short covering in a few of those names. But I want to talk about two aspects here very clearly. Bajaj Fins, uh, Finserv as well as Finance. Finance in particular gained significant ground today on account of a very strong performance in the first quarter. It registered its strongest ever AUM growth in a quarter in the first quarter of this financial year. And then Hero Motor Corp on the one end and Aisha Motors on the other end. Hero Motor Corp ending with gains of over 4% on account of its tie-up with Harley-Davidson and the launch of the X440 motorcycle, the premiumization strategy seem to be benefiting this counter. And that same competition that is inching up or increasing in that premium motorcycle segment is seen to be a negative for Aisha Motors, which was the worst performer on the benchmark index, losing about 6% in trade today. We'll see how that pans out with the launch of Triumph just around the corner. And that, remember, is from the stable of Bajaj Auto. For now, the markets seem to be holding on to the gains that they've made in the recent past, and we continue to breach into new territory. We'll have to see how long that lasts.